I need to go give me some tweezers. Ladies and gentlemen, the ruby of the Braxton sisters' legacy. My sister and friend, Tamar Braxton! All right. Hey, Jill. Oh, I love you too. Hey, hey. Bye. 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 And see you with her tonight. I'm done with your lies, but I can't say goodbye. So I'd rather go tonight. Yeah. She's so pretty. She saved the fuck out of this. That bitch kind of cook her. Her background singers was singing. I'm about to get the half on this tonight. Still got that plastic on that lampshade. I do. Cause that's not the lampshade I want. I don't want them. I don't want that lampshade. I just like the the height of the lamp itself. And I can't find what I need. I need to go to Lamps Plus though. I didn't think about that till last night. Baby, that was a wrap. After that, baby, turn the channel. Ah, uh, no. Scroll. Uh, what did you say? Here we go again with these. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, he gone. Damn, what did I miss? Okay, I just got two people. Oh, ask for something so simple. Let me. Better most of the people. I want to take the time. But on the back part, I do it to myself. Well, yeah. 
You know, I've done that a lot too. Because sometimes you just ask, you could do so much for a person, then when you ask them for like something really simple and they can't do it, you just be like, bitch. All right, I got you. That's one reason why I made sure I was going to take care of my own black ass. So I wouldn't really have to, I wouldn't just have to ask nobody for shit. You know, and it's very few. And I have a hand with five fingers, praise the Lord. And I still have room to say, I can add people to this hand to say how many people I can say I can call on and that could do the same with me without a problem. And even come up with a solution if they can't do it with them. Help me, you know, get to what I need to get done or something. Motherfuckers be like, oh, I can't do that. And some, 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 you like, bitch, okay. That's why when this, when you got plans, sometimes it's not going to change your plans for people. Because they ain't going to change their plans for you. It's very few that will do that. And you can't blame them for not doing it, but if you do it, you did it because that's what you wanted to do. But you can't get mad if they don't do it, but then you have to say, well, bitch, I thought, you know, we was kind of equal. But okay, I got you. No, no, don't worry about it. I'll take care of my ass and take care of your own ass. Oh, well. You know, ain't nobody to blame but yourself. And you just don't let it happen again. Fuck me once, on me. You ain't gonna ever get a chance to fuck me again. That's why I said it's on me. Because I let you fuck me. You never get a chance to do that again. Cause we, <laughs> no man, you only have yourself in the end, and that is a true fact. That is a true fact. Because everybody got problems. And can't nobody put your problems in front of, in front of their own. Are you happy with yourself, Jeff? Oh, baby. I am the delete and block queen. Do you hear me? I have no problem blocking and deleting because I just don't want to deal with it. I just need to get you away from me. I don't want to see nothing about you. I don't want to hear nothing about you. Just leave me alone. No drama. I ain't saying nothing bad about you. Just leave me alone. Because I don't want to waste my time on that. And I don't even want to go through all that. So it's like, fuck it. Block that ass and move on. It's all right. I just blocked that bitch too. And she wanted to be cute with brown shoes. But take off your brown shoe on having asses somewhere else and get brown your asses on. But we not wearing no motherfucking brown shoes up in here, bitch. Oh, I just blocked her ass. That was her homeboy. Her homegirl. Miserable little kids. Dumb asses. Now that they're both just sitting there dumb. Instead of trying to get their judge. Now they're just sitting there dumb. 
And I think it was a boy and a girl, so he over there jacking and she over there fingering. Little sluts. <laughs> Jack and fingers. Baby, I'm having a wonderful just night. Thank you. I hope you are too. Because I know I am. Shit. It seemed like I had a whole like day to do what I needed to do. And I got so much done today. I'm so proud of myself. God damn. Bitch went to work. Got out of work. Went downtown. Picked up some shit for downtown. Went to take care of this just bullshit. Went to the mall, and oh, God, it took care of so much business. Because I leave on Tuesday. So a lot of my groundwork that I needed to do, or, you know, dipping and doing on the highway work, I took that took care of that shit today. Fuck that. I don't have shit to do. I don't, bitch, I'm about to knock this shit out. Sure did. And before I knew it, I was done. I was like, okay, what's next? I'm like, wait a minute. I did that. I did that. Knocked out the... Oh, bitch, I'm off. Like, bitch, I'm chilling. I'm going to blast the fuck out of Tamar some more. I then put on Beyonce. So I can start deja vuing up in this bitch. And I just let the whole thing on YouTube just go through the surround sound. So it could just be different versions of Deja Vu just busting, 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 busting all through. Because I got to keep, you know, getting my jet. And then after, I think about the 12th one playthrough, something else will come on. I turn it off. And then, I don't know, by that time, I'm shit, shower, shave, dish, dressed. <laughs> I'm ready to bounce up off this bitch. But no, nah, because I do sing for like three numbers, though. I do give me a, a good old holler. Because I have to find what I'm aware. And that takes about an hour sometimes. And it's going to take me about an hour or something today. Because I can't even fucking think. And then I got all my clothes from the cleaners. I got, I washed all my clothes. So it's just clothes. And I'm just going to be looking at a whole bunch of shit. Trying to figure out how the fuck I feel tonight. Do I feel like, you know, just feel like something? I don't know. Maybe Becky a little bit. A little big back. You know who knows? Little thotty. The thot thot the thotty. Oh, let me reroute you. Let me see. Okay, yeah, little thotty. And then it's so crazy because, no shade, I always wear, like, one million uh, cologne. And um, it smells good as fuck, no shade. So every time, you know, people hug me, they be like, oh, my gosh, you smell so good. And it's always some little flirtatious little something said afterwards, like, Damn, you almost made me want to eat you up. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, that's too funny. That sounds like comedy. Come on, something better than that.
Better get a room shit. Uh, I love you, Jasmine. Can't wait to see you in Chicago. Okay, yes, Berlin for uh, the 30th. I'm going to be there, Chicago. Still don't know what I'm going to do. Why well, haven't it? Baby, that's a whole hour away. Did I meet her? I did meet her. Did I meet her? She, I guess she was how she was on the thing, just looking like she was just stuck with that grin on her face, like she was amazed by something. She looked like she was... <laughs> I don't know, did I meet her? Because <laughs> most of them look stuck anyway, like somebody that stuck her with a needle or something. Like they just got out of the Botox chair. Jesus Christ. You know what? How do you order a Jizz t-shirt? I just posted one up, babe, on the uh, Facebook. I'm lying. I just posted one up on the on my page with the link. On this video right here, on my page, the link is on this video. I need to see if I could put it up in here in this thing right here. I don't know what I'm doing with all this social media shit, so I ain't even sit here and act like I know how to go to them accounts and shit and change stuff around. So I'm gonna have to wait till my <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait till my cousin come over here um, and do that because I don't know um, I don't know what's going on because I can't get um, I don't know how to work that. So I'm sorry, babe. But yeah. I just blocked that bitch again. So yeah, I um Yeah, if you click on there, baby, it's on that it's on that one video. Oh, yeah, I had fun at Vogue Nights. I'm going to have to go back. And it's crazy because I don't even know how long it's been there, but every Thursday for the past three months. Well, I don't even, I don't even think it's been that long. I'm going to say about two months, I would say. I have been right over there at my friend's house playing spades. Just sitting there chilling, smoking weed. Well, we didn't play space all the time. We only play like maybe three times. But just smoking. Talking shit. And always around 11.30, 12 o'clock, I'm always like, all right, I'm about to bounce out. And then I leave and I'm like, damn, it ain't shit going on. And I forgot about that. But I'll be back, though, because I had a good time Thursday. Yeah, because that was uh, that was a lot of fun. I had a good time at that ball. That shit was fun to me. So yeah, it was good to be there. Oh my god. Baby, I see you. I cannot follow you. I cannot push the button right here and fucking follow you. You have to send me some type of fucking message saying follow me. 
and then I would follow you. Or I would just go through whatever's there and I just start hitting a lot of follows every blue moon. I mean, I see every damn thing popping up here. Every last one of these damn things I see when I'm paying attention. If not, I do try to scroll back and see if somebody says something. You got to have patience. You got to understand patience, baby. I'm going to get to you. But all you said was notice me. And something else before that. And I've seen you. But you got a goddamn Winnie the Pooh damn bear on your damn screensaver. Papi Chulo. You got to get it in order. You know what I mean? And I'm not taking you serious like that. And I'm not really taking anybody really too serious on social media, but I mean, not when you got to win the poo on your fucking screensaver. It's like, I wouldn't give a damn if you was a queen, a sissy five faggot, sissy whatever. Don't have no damn Winnie the fucking poo on your screensaver. What the fuck? So, you know. Well, I'm sure he likes you too, love. You know what I mean? It's Winnie the fucking poo. I mean, you just have to calm down, baby. I used to watch Winnie the Pooh too. Winnie the Pooh been around for eons and eons. But you can't just calm down. It's all right. I've been singing your No Ma'am song all day. <laughs> My husband ain't said that. <laughs> no Ma'am! <laughs> Girl, don't worry about it, because in a minute, he's going to be singing it too. <laughs> he just going to bust out with it. <laughs> Hey, well, look, when he going to use it, it's going to be on your hands. You going to ask for something or say something, and he going to bust out with that no mail and let you have it. Watch. <laughs> Everybody, no mail, no mail. Now Sopranos, no mail. Altos, no mail. Ten nurse, no man. Base, no man. Base, no man. <laughs> I'll be getting my fucking jizz. And I'll be doing dumb shit like this my whole damn life. That's why people ask me, like, you know, different things. Like, do I feel older? And how do it feel to be 41? I'm like, bitch, to be honest, I still feel the same. I think I still feel the same way as I did when I was in high school, you ask me. I mean, yeah, my knees may pop and lock every blue moon. Little but I mean, other than that, I mean... Energy wise and everything else, I still feel the same fucking way. Shit. I'm still sprinting up the street. I still could monkey bars and jump over shit. It's like, I don't, I don't know. And you know, some people's bodies just different. I guess, I don't know if because I work performing stuff, if that helps out or what, but I be feeling good. And I've been doing the same shit my whole life, so I just feel the same damn way. Now, Sopranos, no, ma'am. Shit. 
Oh, them pants are funky, baby. Oh, whoa. I like these right here. Oh, I like them motherfucking pants. I can make them fucking pants. Fuck that. They didn't do nothing but pleat that shit up there at the waist to make it fit and stitch that shit down flat. I've seen that. I did learn something shit. Tell us about crazy experiences you had with working with customer service. Okay. Oh, baby, I can't even think. Let me think. What happened at KFC? There's something always was weird at KFC. Oh, I know one. This lady, right? And I had just started working there. And, you know, she, they knew how to play the game. The son would come in there, order something. He walked outside. He would give his mom the receipt. They called the order. She would pass. Through. She give them a the receipt, and she walk out. The boy would come back in, and be like, "I'm waiting on my food." And they were like, "You didn't get your food yet?" And they were like, "Oh, I'm sorry." Then they would say, "But didn't some lady come?" He was like, "No, I'm by myself." And they would get double the meal. And it was doing it for a long time. And then when I started working there, they, it happened again. But I, was, I didn't deal with them, though, because they were training me on the uh, drive-thru. But it had happened again. So then I remember seeing both of them. What was, it, was her, it was the boy, but then it was another. It was like a, 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 a younger girl. And he was, you know, it was like, they be doing something like crazy, like wash them. You have to wash them. I'm like, why nobody ever said nothing? They was like, they can't catch them. Well, they ended up catching them. I wasn't there, but after that, I remember they had said like they be playing this game, but they could never get them. And they would do it sometimes, but they wasn't doing it all the time. So it was like, are they doing it or aren't they doing it? Like, what is they? They just couldn't catch them. But I was like, well, but they ended up catching them doing it anyway. But that was crazy to me to know that that was going on. I was like, well, that's kind of smart, though, no shade, you. you. Can I get this? Thank you. And then you walk outside. You get that bitch a receipt. You know, they busy. They're not paying attention. They calling numbers. Whoop, 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 whoop. You come up with the receipt. Whoop, 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 whoop. They go out the door. And then you come up like, where my food at? And they're like, I don't know who that was. And then they can't say that y'all together because they didn't see nobody with you. You only came in by yourself, so they have to give you another fucking meal. Ain't that fucked up? I said, damn. You talking about a bitch that was letting half at KF motherfucker C. I said, bitch, them hoes was clever with that. I don't know who. Came up with that plan, but they asses got high, <laughs> and they asses started thinking of some shit and paying attention, because they didn't have enough to eat with, so they said, I got to do this one good walk. We need a lot of food tonight. It's Thanksgiving. How can we get this extra food? And you couldn't say nothing, because... You know this person just came here and ordered this food, but how did a woman get the receipt? What happened with that? Bip, don't nobody know. Hell, he could have dropped it. Anything. Sometimes I think they said she'd be sitting in there like it's nothing, and then he'd come in, they grab the food, walk on out. I'm like, what? You just watch people, Jill. 
Yeah, Thanksgiving, girl, anything. Bar mitzvah, birthday party, a funeral. Who knows what them people was doing? But they did it, I think, about at least five to six times. Because when I had just started working there, they was already, like, on them. I said, no, ma'am. I was so thankful that I was on the, um... That I was on the, uh, the what's that called? The drive through Because that whole play would have went different. That whole scam would have played out a whole different way. Because she wouldn't have been able to walk up to me and have me no, give me no receipt, baby. I don't remember giving you this ticket. So... I could run the cameras back. They would have been mad as hell at me. They would have been pissed at me. Do you hear me? Because I didn't serve you. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, I got to run these cameras back. Because I don't know how you got this receipt, but we're going to wait until the boy that got this come on through. Because... Um, you know, I need to make sure <laughs> that you got this food because I don't remember serving you. Hell, I you didn't come to my line anyway, but I don't even remember you walking up in here. So now, so whoever got this, they got to come back here and pick thine order up with you. Uh-uh. And I was already peeped up on game two. Oh, baby, they would have been heated with thine. But I mean, I'll play that shit. Hello, love. Yeah, I'm very detective tease. You not like all that CSI and all that investigation shit. I like all that. I don't know what to tell you, Jeff. But I was just happy I was at the window. Slinging bags. Here, take that chicken. Take that chicken. But my favorite was um, when I worked at the customer service for, well, any customer the service I worked at, I liked. But when I was working at my last job with uh, customer service, and I was a telephone uh, supervisor for uh, collections, I used to tell them people, baby, just put down $5 to keep your phone on. This is prepay. Girl, just put down $5, you'll be all right. You know, I used to be like, baby, you could really get, um, you could really get a lot out of that. I just blocked that damn Winnie the Pooh person. I don't see why people want to waste their life on bullshit. And they just be doing dumb bullshit stuff. Can you call me? Girl, what you need advice about, you? Yeah, when I get off of here, you can, because then I'll be looking for something to wear. I'll be loving you. Anybody got, time? Anybody got time for that? Oh, I love you too. Oh, I had so much fun in Brisbane, baby. Oh my gosh, I need to come back. I mean, Brisbane was... 
I had fun in Australia, period. Everywhere I went. I made it happen for myself. You hear me? And it was amazing. So much. Oh, Y'all were so nice to the dish. We had a wonderful time. It was so good, Jeff. <laughs> they said, they said. <laughs> Some people is so I don't know how to do it. <laughs> what do you need advice about girl I said okay you said sounds good, okay. I worked at KFC, I used to run the chicken. Little machine. <laughs> Not the chicken little machine. Yes, I remember that little fucking machine. I never did that though. They always had me on the register because I was good. I was good. I was quick. And I was sociable to everybody. But I got the job done. I was whipping up out them orders. I would never forget the time. <laughs> we was backed up. And this girl was taking orders, baby, and as the pe as I'm making my order, I can hear these people making their order. So I am making their order as well. Like, brrr, I'm just going through it. She went over there. I said, girl, just add that, that, and they're ready to go. They was like, how did you do that? I'm like, because, baby, she, I don't know why y'all got her on my side. She need to be in the back on the chicken little machine. She need to be on biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Put her ass on biscuits, baby, because she is slow up here. I mean, damn. People was leaving her line, coming to mine, and she was there longer than me. Baby, punch these motherfucking things and get what they want. Everything is right in your fucking face. Hit them buttons and let's go. I was like, girl... I said, anytime I can get you together, I do it. Just, but you have to, I was like, you have to, bitch, you have to speed up. I had to teach them my little format. Bitch, if they want motherfucking combo, bitch, all the combos is right here. That's all red. Shit. You shouldn't look nowhere else but in combo area unless they say. Desserts in the middle. Shit. I was taking my, or I'm bringing up my people, boxing their shit and boxing her shit while they, while she taking the order. She turned around, her shit done. I got to tell her what to add to the box so she can move on. That's when they was like, oof. You are good, baby, of course. Tell me what I got to do. I get it. But I used to love working at KFC, though. But, uh, I was so tired of chicken. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, I don't want no more chicken. Nothing chicken. Uh-uh. But I, I came up with a whole bunch of little, all little recipes Baby, I was coming up with some shit up in that bitch. And then when we had them barbecue chicken sandwiches, it was a wrap. It was a fucking wrap. I came up with some little mixtures that fucking can't see. The biscuits, baby, they wasn't doing them right. 
I was like, baby, put just a little bit, brush that br brush just gently across that top before you throw them up in there. And when they come out, dip it in that fucking butter and put it on that motherfucker. You barely even touching the motherfucker. Let that bitch shine. Shit. Glaze that bitch up. They always knew when I was when I hit them biscuits, I didn't give a fuck. My, I didn't like my biscuits dry like that. Bitch, uh-uh. Put some butter on this shit. This shit don't taste like shit anyway, but glaze that gla shit up. I always been extra when it comes to things like that. Don't tease the people. Shit. Let's get it going. Like mimosas. When I used to do mimosas at the at lips, I used to put so much champagne. Fuck that. Let's put some more. Let's fuck them up on the first round. And we're going to save some. Y'all watering it too much. They're going to keep drinking, drinking, drinking. Nah, let's knock their asses out this first round. And that first round is the first three. Because after that, they fucked up. Money, 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 money. And they sick. They throwing up bitches, shitting on themselves, pissing on themselves, falling and shit. A bitch yesterday threw up in the bucket. A bitch today peed on herself. I ain't no telling what happened in the bathroom. I'm just surprised it wasn't nobody laid the fuck out. I don't make the mimosas no more, though. But every day at brunch, every Saturday or Sunday, it never fails. It does not, does not matter what club I'm at. Some bitch is always fucked up. She pissed, she threw up, or she shit it. If not all three, and it'd be a few of them. Men too, you gotta drag their asses up out of there. They are bent. Cause they drinking that cheap ass champagne and they sipping it like it ain't nothing, but all along they getting fucked up. Alright, bitch. You better watch out for them mimosas. Cause them motherfuckers will get you fucked up. That champagne will light that ass up. 755. What am I gonna wear tonight? Let me try to think about that. Bent! You hear me? I had three a while back, like years ago. I was fucked up. Like, bitch, I don't want no more of that shit. And I drank that right at the brunch. Like, ooh, I'm gonna have some of this. Yeah! 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 Shit, yeah, my ass, bitch. I was fucked up. But we had fun, though. But I was fucked up. And I enjoyed every last minute of that shit. But I was fucked up. See, I'm lightweight, you know, but certain things like that always just fucked me up, for real. You know, and I just got drunk. It just fucked me up real bad. Your tolerance is stronger than me. You know, bonjour. But ain't no, you know, I'm happy that I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm brainstorming the outfit. I'm just trying to feel like, what do I feel? But once I, you know, I got an idea of what I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. But it's cold outside. God, Lee, it's cold. What the fuck? Oh, I can't take it. Oh, my God, it's so cold to me. I know whatever I wear, I have to wear a tank top and a t-shirt because I'm about to get my ass in some water and I got to take some Alka-Seltzer's.
And I'll be fine after that. Because <clears throat> if not, my nose is going to be just fucked up. Is it 68 outside? It's freezing to me. But I'm a co I'm always cold anyway. I always been like, you know, it's always cold to me. I mean shit. I always be like, Psh, baby, I need my little chinchilla. Like for real, just in my I just recently changed my sheets uh from that uh what is it? Fleets? Flannel or whatever, that real soft. I don't want to say fleet because it's not fleet. It's something. That real soft, soft. That I always like, I wrap up my chinchilla. My sheets and shit was out of that. And hell, it was in the summertime. And you know, that shit so damn soft and warm. You get warm instantly on that shit. Baby, I like to be warm. When I'm asleep, I just like to be warm. I'm not really, you know, a little cool type of person. It's like, bitch, it's cold. Fuck that. If it's a little chill, my ass is shivering. I want to go. Flannel, yes. It's fleets. Okay, fleets. Okay. No, I don't. I don't think it's flannel. I think it's fleece. I think it's that, Indiana. Because it always sounds like fleet to me. Soft like your ass. I know it's soft like my you. And I want to nair so bad. Not that I'm hairy or nothing. But I just feel like I want to nair. But I heard it was going to be cold. In Ireland, I said, okay, that ain't going to work. Because that's going to feel like needles all in my motherfucking body. My mouth. Belly button down. All that going to feel like it just needles everywhere. And I can't handle that. So that's not going to work yet. No. Now, see, the new nair they has, that they have out, don't smell like that. Like that old shit that make you just want to vomit. This new shit have a little scent, like a little kiwi or something scent to it. Three minutes, depends on how hairy you are. But I, I don't, I'm not hairy, but my hairs on my legs are like long. And I, you won't even know I have hair. But I just shave that little shit down. You know, so I could be close to ball, then I could just choo -choo, hold on two minutes or something, and then get my dish. Oh, thank you, Jig. Let me see. I got this shirt from, I think, The Gap. Old Navy. The Gap. I think I got this from the Gap. One of those in the kids' department. It's a 1416 in kids. Shit. Yeah. Oh, I miss you too. Yeah, I'm a little bright, you know. I was going real bright for the summer. And then I got shorts. This color, the yellow, and this orange. So I could have played with anything. But I didn't get it because of this shirt. I just had it because they was like the bright colors for the summer. And I'm walking my 40-year-old ass then, and he's... Kids clothes. Shit, me and one boy had on the damn, the same shirt. And the same shorts he just had on a different color. And he was looking at me up and down. You little bitch. What the fuck? He was just like. Because we had the same shirt. 
I had on blue shorts, and I think he had on the red one. And he just looked at me up and down. We looking like the Bopsy twins. And I look at him like, bitch, I'm running better than you, you little fucker. He mad. Yeah, I'm smoking this old 21 Dwala. But no, I'm 41 now. But that was like in the summertime. I just turned 41 in, um, on, on the 16th of October. But no, like that was the summertime. When I was 4 zero. Now I'm 4 uno. Nope, he couldn't clock me. He was mad though. Fucked his little ass up. <laughs> Cause I was in his clothes. Like we was the boppy twins. And I mean, you know little kids, they just look at you all the way. And I looked at him all the way. Motherfucker, you're not going to stare me down. I'm going to look at you all the way. <coughs> and I know kids. And he tried it. Yeah. He was very bothered. No, I'm a Libra, Jeff. Yes, I am excited about working with my sister, Dennis. We already talked about that, Dennis. Dennis. The fucking menace. Yeah. Damn, I want to wear a scarf. But I'm thinking, is that too much? No, that ain't too much. What the fuck? Cause I be cold, bitch. I'm cold. But I'm cute. I gotta cut this shit off my head, though. Ooh, I gotta take this off my head. Maybe I'll leave it on tonight. And I'll cut it off in the morning. But I gotta get this off my motherfucking head. What size do you wear in women's? I don't really know. I think I'm about an 8. Between an 8 and a 10. I'm not really for sure. I think somewhere up in that area. Because, like, I'm about 36. 36, 26, 34. I need to add like two more little inches on the side of my hips. So I could be 36, 26, 36. Ah! It is cold out. And I need my vocals in case I need to hear soprano notes. No, ma'am! See? Ho! Came on through. Perfect. So I'm ready to sing Tamar. I was on one day that you noticed me. You know what? No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. Baby, some of these girls be using so much fucking Photoshop. I'm like, and then when I see him and when I see him in person, I'm like, damn, bitch, that's you? I don't think it's good to do that much Photoshop. I understand Photoshop, but I mean, some of... This girl, and this is a real girl I'm talking about, she photoshopped her pictures so much.
and you just see guys hitting her up and hitting her up, and I'm like, bitch, somebody gonna whoop your ass one day, girl. No, babe, you can't come to my house. Uh -uh. No, but I am about to watch that in a minute, right when I get off here with y'all and finish this blunge in. <clears throat> you know, I don't like that game invites. I don't like invites. I don't like the uh, uh, the group messages. I don't like the the chain letters. I don't like all that stuff. You not really don't. And I just really try to tell people, just don't send that stuff to me. And then they get upset. Why you didn't send it back? Because, bitch, I done told your motherfucking ass before. Not to send. I done put it in videos. I done told you personally. You're still sending it to me. So now I got to call you motherfuckers and bitches and bitches and hordes. Because I done told your ass. Now you mad because I blocked your ass. I do not want to be bothered. I don't. Not with that dumb shit. I don't be playing them games. I have spades and I have solitary and angry birds. I'm cool. And if there's something else on here, my baby put it on here. You know what I mean? I'm like, come on. And people just go off it, on it, on it, on it, on it, on it. I'm like, damn, you got to find something else to do with your life. I mean, shit. That means you just, on the, and some of them just send it all day, all day, all day, all day. Baby, why are you on your fucking Facebook all day? All day. I know it's something you guys to be doing to do something. It has to be something. It's something you could be doing. Shit. I just... I was hoping one day that you noticed me. She sung the fuck out of that, Tamar fucking Braxton. I'm about to blast this motherfucking place out. It's 18. They finna be so sick of me by the time 11 o'clock hit. And I say 11, not 10, because everybody done played their shit to a 12 o'clock at night. All around my motherfucking ass. And I don't ever say shit, because it don't ever bother me. So when they hear Tamar bumping, well, they don't say shit because there's many a nights I play Patty all fucking night. Shit, I wish they would. Don't start a war you can't handle, bitch. <laughs> Telling me to turn my Patty down. We finna go toe to toe. Uh, Jocelyn Brown. What was that one song she had out? I can't think of it. Is, um, the one about fucking bills. And I, I don't know why I got work to do in my head. But she had a song about bills. The head. Look what you done to me. Damn. I have never done her. Okay, y'all, this thing is on the countdown to 30 seconds. So, um, y'all know y'all my people. You know I love you. You know I get my gist with y'all all the time. No matter what goes on, you know I always want the best for every last one of y'all. I want to make sure y'all get your fucking gist, love yourself, and live your life because life is too short for bullshit. And I will see y'all tomorrow morning. 
every noon.